parasite, so, so all of these organelles that we've described, the nucleus, the Golgi apparatus, the endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria, even plastids, are generic organelles that we see throughout the, the, uh, uh, the eukaryotic uh, domain. But these parasites also harbor a variety of unique organelles. Most notably, the apical complex that gives the phylum its name up here at the apical end of the parasite where invasion occurs includes a variety of specialized, uh, uh, specialized organelles named, uh, known as rope trees here and smaller organelles, the, the micronemes, that play a key role in invasion. So let's take a closer look at these organelles, these apical complex organelles that are res responsible for secreting proteins essential for, for, for parasite invasion. And we'll take a look at those, we'll take a look at the, uh, uh, the in involvement in invasion in a beautiful uh, uh, vid time-lapse video sequence taken in real time by, Ger from Ger by Gary Ward at the University of Vermont. Here you can see a single parasite as it moves along gliding over the surface cells. And now watch, it stops and at this point it would be secreting proteins out of the rope trees as it penetrates into the, in, into the host cell through this narrow constriction of a moving junction establishing that intracellular parasitophorous vacuole within which the parasite will live and replicate. Here are two more parasites living in the, uh, w the progeny of one parasite that had invaded living within this cell. Now this uh, raises a number of, 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 interesting, uh, of, of interesting points. These parasites are obviously dividing more rapidly than the host cell uh, itself. One parasite is invaded giving rise to two while well, they're still within a single host cell. And this process of proliferation is, of course, key to the pathogenesis of the, uh, uh, of, uh, is key to the pathogenesis of the, uh, uh, of the uh, parasite.